it's hard to believe, but end of year is already fast approaching. And some of you might be thinking about racing towards the finish line and even falling across the finish line into your summer breaks and Christmas, uh, very well earned time with family. So at Corporate Edge, what we really recommend as you come towards the end of this work year is to find the space and time to intentionally gather your teams to reflect on the year behind you. Why we do that is really simple. There's a very well-known saying that you learn from experience, which is absolutely true. We do learn from experience, but what we learn even more from is reflecting on that experience. And so as a team, if you can really set some intentional time to come together out of the ordinary rhythm and habits and structures of your team um, and really ask some simple questions. What have we achieved together as a team this year? What have we learnt about our team and ourselves? What have we done really well? And what do we think that we can do better next time? What are our strengths? What are our areas for development? What are our areas for opportunity? How do we want to enter 2025? What do we want to leave behind in 2024? And what do we want to make sure gets carried through into the new year and the new rhythm that comes with the new year? Finally, a really important question to come together and to discuss, how do we want to set ourselves up to really maximize the break that we have over the summer? These are really simple questions that serve a very important person for each and every group. Uh, and then in addition to this, as you come back together in January, February of 2025, setting up another session, another really intentional and deliberate moment to meet, connect, and align on exactly how you want to as a team face 2025. What sort of opportunities do we see coming down the pipeline in 2025? And how do we as a team want to come together and align on how we're going to approach these opportunities? I want to make sure uh, that everybody enjoys their break, but also that you really do give yourselves the time and space to truly reflect on and learn from the immense year that has also come before the summer break.